Van Bird is an incredible bloke. Great driver. But this season, oh my god, poor guy. Do you remember anything from it? You okay, mate? Oh my god. Close the doors. So this is Shay Sam. This is Shay Sam, yeah. Welcome to my crib. God, Sam Bird. Honestly, just making me a bit stressed <laughs> thinking about him. Sam Bird has always been one of the true pros of Formula E. When he is fully on it, I'm not sure there's many drivers, if any, in this paddock that can handle his uh, his raw speed, his overtaking ability. They couldn't stop Sam Bird. It was only until quite recently that Sam Bird was the only driver to have won a race in every season of Formula E. Yeah. Whoever didn't do that, Degrassi hasn't quite done that. They've been there, they've been close, but for Bird to achieve maximum points in you know in all bar the last two seasons. It's pretty special. They don't have all the winners ones here, but I mean, we've got a Diria, a Hong Kong, two New Yorks, that was a great weekend. Season two, Buenos Aires, great battle with Seb. When he looks for the outside, then tries to get the inside. Yeah! Come on! Season one, my first win. Another New York, so I've got three wins in New York. Winning at my home race in London. Third place driver in Formula E in the championship. Going into the 10th season of Formula E, how do you look back on your time so far? Oh my God, it's been 10 years. Wow. Year one. Year two, we didn't know whether Formula E was going to be a success or not. It was this brand new championship trying to gain an identity. And I was excited to join. It's just grown from strength to strength. And going into the 10th year of Formula E, to still be here, still be considered a driver that can score podiums and wins, be fighting at the front, I think it's a remarkable achievement. When he went to Jaguar, it was seen as probably the biggest move in Formula E history. What we saw in particularly season seven was that it was going to script. He won with Jaguar. He was on the coattails of Mitch. You know, he was as quick as Mitch, if not quicker on occasions. Going into season eight, something changed. And I don't know what that was, but something went wrong. Oh, he's hit the wall! Season eight was a really tough year for Sam, no doubt about it. It wasn't him operating at the level he could. Side by side, further back, and there's an accident. Sam Bird is involved. He's got a bit of damage, and it's with Mortara. When you talk about Sam Bird, you talk about rebirth in a way. He had that poor season in eight, and he was very upfront about it. So the anticipation for season nine was that he would come back even stronger. You don't just lose performance and lose speed and lose talent, it's there. And he came into Gen 3 with a really open mindset. And I think really great drivers have the ability to adapt as well. And Sam has adapted to Gen 3. We were very good on the brakes into the last corner. Very, very strong. We were going into Diria, a circuit that Sam Bird has been on the podium and won races at before in the past. The anticipation there was that, you know, he would be in the mix. All five lights are on. And we go green in Diria. Head down, maximise efficiency. Sam Bird has got ahead, and he's up into second place now. Come on, Sam, come on. Here we go with Bird again. Bird to the inside, Bird to the lead. Good job. Verline to the inside, Verline takes the lead. They're so fast, man. These Porsches are really efficient. Just bring the car home the best you can. Dennis going for it. Jake Dennis into second position. It was my 100th race. I led most of the race and unfortunately got muscled out by the Porsches. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. The podium. Good lad. Good lad. It feels so, so good to be back on the podium, Nicky. I can't tell you. It's been, it's been a rough 12 months. Um, but Jaguar have been amazing. They've stuck by me. They've put their arm around me. From where we've come from, amazing. Congratulations to everybody in the team, and we keep pushing. Awesome.
We're smiling. Yeah. Hello. Hi there. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Sam has been partial to his fair share of bad luck. There's things that have happened to him that have been completely not his fault. But it's only fair to say that some of the things that have happened have been his fault. We go green in Hyderabad. I think I was running in fifth in the race, the long start finish straight. I stayed more flat out than normal. I was then told to take attack, which I felt then I could break later. Once I'd locked up, um, that was it. Sizzle, oh! The two Jaguars collide! Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mega. F***ing mega. Thing was is that, um, you know, as a, as a teammate to Mitch, I should have just hit Sasha. But... It's, it's instinctive to miss the first car. And then Mitch was right there, so that was that. It was probably as bad as you can get. It ruined both of the Jaguars' days. And I think seeing James Barkley's pallor go from reasonably ruddy cheeks to a complete whiteout told its own story. It was just like watching something fall away from someone as it happened, unfolded, and everybody knew when it happened that it was going to be troubling for Sam in that team. Do you hide much, Sam? Nope. Nothing like this. What happened in India was really regrettable, and it was very difficult for me, but the team have been super supportive. It's one of those things. Um, it won't be happening again. <laughs> wow. That's pretty impressive. Pressures in racing are intense, like super intense. If you're not performing, you feel like the team could drop you at any given time, and then it's a case of, well, what do I do then? How am I gonna get a drive? How am I gonna get an income? What the hell do I do? For the first time, we are about to go electric street racing in Brazil. I think it goes without saying that when you have bad luck or disappointment or you make mistakes, you want to show that you are still the driver that people know you are. You have the right group right culture, the right mentality. It does make you stronger, and I think as a team, we do. And we use those as opportunities to actually galvanize the group. You've got the most energy in the field, mate. Use it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on! Yeah, baby! Nick Cassidy being hunted by Sam Byrne. Let's get him. It's just so risky, man, it's so risky. The checker flag falls! Magnificent win for Jaguar! You're back, mate. I just didn't wanna I didn't wanna do anything silly. I just thought I just do not wanna be that person again, so congrats team. Well done. Well, one of the coolest races I think I've been a part of in, in Formula E. Could have fought for the win, but I just try to be sensible, settle in for third and take the points. And then after that, Berlin? Yep, Berlin again, strong performance. It's Mitch Evans! Victory in Berlin! A one-two for Jaguar! Yes! Come on! Yes! Mega Drive! Okay, then you're the staff. One-two, that's the staff. Yeah, that's right. Going into Jakarta, there was this sense that Sam might have done enough to rectify the damage that had been done in Hyderabad. I was thinking, you know, we are definitely on an upwards trajectory. And if we continue scoring points as we are doing, there's no reason why we can't come top four, top three in the, in the championship for sure. One minute to go, engage drive. Have a good one, mate. It's going to be a tough day, but we'll do our best, eh? Formula E is going, Jakarta! Jakarta's a funny track. 
you know, it's a really difficult track to overtake on. It's a wet track without being a wet race because there's so much dustiness. Oh, oh there's our teammate! Not again! That's the second time! Oh, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Sam just took me out. Once is forgivable, twice it's harder. There's no coming back from that. It doesn't matter how good of a driver you are, you can't crash into your teammate twice in, in one season. It's a real problem, like, yeah. if it was going quicker, then the rear, the rear would be completely destroyed. OK, we went belly for the win, but so it's, it's two times now, so... It just, it just leaves a little margin. Uh, it shouldn't happen. And again, I was the car that... Um, instigated the incident, and, yeah, I paid dearly for it. I'm not, it's not, I'm not him, I'm sad. I did it to myself. I don't have anything, I don't have, don't have a leg stand. So, yeah, you know, Sam's a world-class racing driver. He had a great sit within the team. The, the, the reality is, um, though, that you, you have to fit your teammates, right? Uh, and um, if you're not doing that on a consistent basis, as a group, we have to make sure that we are maximising our, our championship and chip potential. Yeah, I wouldn't be comfortable in discussing what happened with regards to contract negotiations. These things happen, it's racing. Like we're trying our best out there. Great, because I was defending from Mitch, I get done by Sam. Thanks, guys. Sam Bird, sadly, got a five second penalty for forcing a driver off track. So that's why Sam Bird ended up that far down. It's tough. Trust me, I've gone through period, really crap periods in my career where I could not finish a race. I couldn't put together a series of laps. I've, I've, I've been there. I know what it feels like, and you, you're trying so hard to make it right. It's a shocking accident. I mean, when you see a race car being T-boned at that speed, you really fear for the driver. It's not like there are loads of drivers up there that have pushed for championships seven, eight years in a row. Sandbird is, is one of us, a rare breed in Formula E. He has this horrible shunt. The car's complete trash. Very little salvageable from it. And then the next day, he goes out and gets a third position. Last Is lap. it the final lap? Last lap, last lap. Bird, with great efficiency, comes over the line in third place. Good race, mate. Good race, mate. Good effort, good effort. Sam Bird is fourth podium of the 2023 season. Just to get a podium, after that experience, kind of reflects, in a way, what Sam Bird has been through in Formula E. There's been a lot of times recently where I have looked in the mirror and seen a very mediocre racing driver. I wanted to do the best job I could for the team at the time, and I felt like I achieved that. It's obviously a tough pill to swallow to know that your team aren't going to renew your contract, but Sam has a lot of integrity. You're not defined by one moment. You're defined by your performance over a period of time and your ability to bounce back from those bad moments. He's hit several milestones. He's been in title contention a couple of times. When he retires and he's not part of Formula E as a driver, in the future, I think he will in time look back and think, you know, I actually achieved quite a lot in Formula E. We come to the end of a, of a wonderful relationship with nothing but respect for me, for Sam, and what he's capable of, and we all wish him well in the future. I want to win this world championship, and I genuinely believe that I can still do that. You gonna get a company car next year or not? I'd like. <laughs> like. I'd like. It would be nice. I won't give up trying. And a bit of a new wardrobe over here. Yeah. 
Looks good, doesn't it? I think it looks good in orange. 